Hey guys, so today we are at Snoqualmie Falls Park. Now, we weren't necessarily planning on coming here today and doing a video, but today the weather is just so nice that we wanted to, you know, just come outside and enjoy it. Even if it's not really that warm, it's still pretty cold out. And we thought Snoqualmie might be the perfect place to come because normally it's packed with people, but because everybody's freaking about freaking out about Corona, we're we're expecting that there's probably not going to be that many people here today. So it might be really nice to let you guys see what the Snoqualmie Falls look like if you've never seen them. They're really beautiful. So if you want to see the Snoqualmie Falls and our trail to get there, then keep on watching. Ooh, I think we could go to the trail next, but how about before we go to the trail? Let's see what's up here. Okay, so here we are at the falls, and I don't think you guys would be able to see it on camera, but the falls are like so powerful that there's a mist up here, and you can see how far away it is, but there's a mist coming up, and we can feel it. And as you can see, guys, really feel it around, baby. There's really not a lot of people. There's not that many people. It's normally really crowded here. <laughs> yeah. Normally you won't be able it's a, to. It's a very popular attraction. People like to come out here. I mean, how far would you say it's from Seattle? Like an hour maybe? Maybe an hour. Yeah, maybe but an hour. For us it's just 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes for us. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to that side and like, get a better view. Yeah, let's go. So, we're thinking we're gonna go to the Lower Falls Trail now so you guys can see a different view of it. We might be able to get a better picture that way. Okay. Oh, you can see it on camera? Yeah. yeah, so it's a mist from the waterfall. It's definitely not raining. The sky, the sky is blue. There's like hardly any clouds at all, at least not right above us. There are some over there in the background, but right above us, there's none. And yeah, it's totally just, there's a mist coming from the waterfall because it's so powerful, it's so full right now. Normally though, if it's not so full, there isn't always a mist, but. Shall we go really down? Yeah, let's try to go to the Lower Falls Trail. You can see right now, there's like no people here, kind of what we were predicting, because Usually it's packed with people all along the way. At least every time that we've been here, it's always been really crowded, especially on the weekends, because people want to come see something really beautiful and take a walk in nature, but it's almost empty here today. So guys, the trail is still open, but the viewpoint is closed. So we think that maybe it's not such 
it's not going to be very beneficial for us to do that hike if you guys can't see the view afterwards. So maybe because the water is strong, you know, the mist. Oh yeah, because we've been down to the lower one before and it gets wet down there. So maybe that's why. Maybe they just, it's going to soak people. I don't know. <laughs> so maybe that's why it's closed. I'm not really sure. Maybe, or maybe because, you know, you're surrounded by like the walls of like the cliff and it's like dirt. So maybe there's like mudslides, maybe. Maybe. That could be another explanation why they closed it. So we're just not going to go down there today. Yeah. We're going to go to the cabin instead. A cabin? Yeah. Oh, the Salish Lodge? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah right next to the top of the falls there's this really nice lodge called the salish lodge so we'll show you guys that and we'll go there so come with us Right now we're right outside the Salish Lodge. So we're gonna go inside, come along with us and see what it looks like. It's basically just like a giant wood cabin. It's huge. Salish Lodge is actually a, it's kind of like a hotel. People stay here and they also have a spa, but anybody can go in and look around the lobby or the gift shop that they have. So that's what we're gonna do. So come with us. Okay, so as you can see, this lobby is really nice. We're warming, we're just gonna warm ourselves up by the fire. Well, the gift shop is right behind me and in there you will find a lot of memorabilia relating to the falls themselves, but also there's a lot of local, locally grown stuff. Like there's jams made from local harvests and just a lot of things made by local artists so if you want to support some Pacific Northwest businesses this is where you can get some of that stuff so let's go and see what's in there Here we have some locally made Washington State honey. We found something else that's kind of exciting. Some bison meat. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had it, but I've had it, it's pretty good. So I recommend it if you haven't had it, try some. Hey guys, so we were gonna leave but we as we were coming out of the lodge we see we saw this bridge over there and we thought it looked kind of cool so just for fun we're gonna go walk it see what it looks like from up there so come with us let's see what it happens <laughs> The 
best view of the lodge right from here. Let's see what else we can go find. Hey guys, thanks for coming with us on this adventure to Snoqualmie Falls. We just really wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather and the fact that there's not a, a lot of people coming outside right now. So we hope you enjoyed it and thanks for sticking around if you made it to the end of the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.